Hi, welcome to the Go Down. This is our fantastic open day. I'm Joy Boya, the executive director, and I hope you have a terrific time today. Karibuni. Hi everyone, my name is MK Mbogwa from the Go Down Urban team. Um, so the Go Down started 20 years ago. We'll be celebrating 20 years next year, actually. And we we formed the Go Down was formed. 2002 and then was set up they found a property in industrial area where the the lease property from CMC and they set up the first iteration of the go down uh, so that started in September 2003 and in August of 2019 we moved out of that space to come to Kilimani because we needed to start redeveloping that our property which we eventually bought so this is a model of our property, uh, the, the new building. Um, it is an upgrade of the old space. It's completely new. We are demolishing and building a completely new African contemporary uh, uh, arts and culture center. So the process for that uh, uh, design and the development started around 2010, when the go down partnered with some Swedish architects called White Architectel to look at studies of the Go Downs neighborhood in industrial area. Um, we started looking at, at the city, the, the, railway, the railway area, as well as industrial area, and what is the value of a cultural institution or, or uh, creative and cultural industries in that area. So based on those studies, we then started a participatory process where we did lots of workshops with the community, with our neighbors, with artists, and many different people to again get their views of what they would like to see in a new arts and culture center. So design eventually started in 2015, and by 2019 we were now ready to start construction. So we moved our office here to Kilimani. Unfortunately, COVID came um, in March of 2020, uh, which was actually the same month we had planned for a groundbreaking event to start the construction. Um, so we've been delayed for two and a half years, uh, but now last month we started with demolitions uh, and, and we are going to have us uh, some sort of groundbreaking event uh, next month in November um, to formally start the construction. So the, the design as I said is a completely new building. We are scaling up uh, from about 7,000 square meters of, of renovated space to 25,000 square meters of a brand new arts and culture center that will host more artist studios, more space for creative businesses, uh, two different performance uh, spaces, one a 200-seater, one a 500-seater, um, music studios, dance studios, um, more office space, more public space, courtyards for the public to come uh, and, and, and enjoy art and that kind of thing. So, so essentially it is, it, is, it is four times the fun. So come support us in our fundraising. We are still fundraising. Um, so we, we need all the support we can get. Um, yeah. So here we have a model of our, our street and our building. This is our property. This is the, the new go down. Um, the previous go down was like our neighbors. Very low level, one story, maximum two stories. But now the new go down is going to be three, four levels. Um, it will have a, a big performance center in the middle and then courtyards all around. One on ground floor, the entrance courtyard, a big stair coming to a, a big performance dance courtyard and then a more intimate courtyard at the back here, uh, right next to the visual artist studios. Apart from the building we, uh, we, which we are redeveloping, we are ho also hoping to improve the streets. The streets, um, Dunga Road and Dondori Road, are very important to us because we want to be able to program those streets, to have performances on the streets, to have exhibitions on the streets. Um, of course, we know the streets are used, particularly during business hours, but after business hours, we also want to be able to program the streets. When the streets are empty, after business hours, can we close that part of the street and have uh, outdoor restaurants? During weekends, on Sundays and public holidays, can we close down the whole street, pedestrianize it and have market fairs? Can we have uh, artist exhibitions? Can, and then uh, can we have also performances on the street? So this process of improving the street is one where we partnered with you and Habitat where we use their toolkit called Hasiti. Um, Hasiti is, is a toolkit designed to ensure the participation of women and girls in the development of public spaces. 
So our streets are public spaces, they are the primary public spaces that we uh, as residents in the city use. So we want to improve the streets outside the godown to function as better public spaces that can accommodate all those diverse uses. Michael Soy. I am a visual storyteller. Uh, today basically is just an open studio day where members of the public can just walk in and interact with their work people. My art is basically just social commentary. I dwell a lot with subjects of uh, you know things that affect the day-to-day -day lives of ordinary people. Uh, my name is Peterson Kamodi. I'm a visual artist. I do a lot of drawing and printmaking. And uh, yeah, this is my work. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, I've been uh, working there as a visual artist uh, for like around 17 years now, seriously. And I, uh, my work is about, I'm interested in groupings and groups, so the idea of crowds, queues and all that. Huh? But then more so because they also become indicators of uh, other issues, almost like metaphors and symbols. So if you look at my work, you'll always see a multiplicity of human forms. I think Bisalo and this is Peperuka. Peperuka is an African brand that tries to bring different Africanism through products and have several products. <laughs> Gloria, Gloria Bubaka, so this is uh, the space, uh, this is my, my work, I work predominantly uh, in acrylics and canvas, although this year I've been pastels, exploring pastels, uh, on the wall. Um, my work is mainly based uh, on a lot of vibrant colour, I love vibrant colour, and my push is for work that evokes joy that evokes happiness and my push is mainly for encouragement so what's that's usually the underlying uh, theme in my work hi guys i'm elena aquare i'm an artist based at kuwana artist collective this is the god and art center and specifically this is michael soy's shop and today there's an open studio involving artists of the god so join us, come by art and get to own a piece of Michael Soe too in this shop and he also has a studio in the space.
Uh, my name is Nyerere Michael. I am a visual artist. Um, um, I, I, I work with Peterson. I came here to show my work over there on the other side. And right now over here we are having a session with kids and uh, we are having fun and uh, inspiring the next generation to become more of artists like us. My name is Tabo Susa. I am the founding director of Category Music, which is a not-for-profit organization. And uh, mostly we deal in research, archiving, and promoting the diverse musical traditions of uh, East Africa. Ketibu was actually founded in 2007. And so far, one of our flagships is uh, Shades of Benga, the book Shades of Benga, which is a 600-page book that delves in the history of Kenyan popular music from 20, from 1946 to 26.